Hey everyone, this is Charlie Blonde here. I want to do a Flourish tutorial because I couldn't really find any online. I'm using Blender 2.77 and if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is um, a simple Flourish would be kind of like this. And these are the ones I was working on. So let's just go with the flat one right now. Mainly it's flat because it's super flat. I got two two layers and then you got the um, 3D one. And I'll explain that in a bit. So we start off with a, um, say an image. And I just want to, you know, kind of give you an overview of what we're going to do or what I'm going to try and explain. So we got, we got an image here and basically going to uh, trace it out and have it grow and then you can use it for other th things I'm not sure but uh, other people use animated flourishes for certain videos and stuff I think it's pretty cool alright so I'm not gonna do this one for right now uh, maybe I'll look into that because it has a mirror modifier so I'm just gonna go a little bit simpler with this so um, basically if you're just starting out you got your uh, blender open all right, so you want to add an, an image. Go to open. Uh, go to the file where you have, where you've downloaded a Flourish or where you've even drawn your own, and uh, you have, you can choose from here these buttons of how you want to see the files. And I like to pick this one right here, the third one, just so you can see which one you're gonna pick. I downloaded these from the internet, and this one's a pretty nice and simple one. So let's start with that. Uh, the first one I'm gonna try out is the. Um, uh, Bezier curves, so screencast keys, that way you can see them. So I'm going to do uh, Shift A. I'm going to add a curve and just add a Bezier. Hit Tab. Click on that one. Actually, I'm going to start right here. Or yeah, delete it. Because this one's nice and straight. I wonder if it'll... So with this you can hold down control and then click and it'll just be over there. Rotate. Alright, we're just going to shape it out. And then continue to hold. Keep going. I'm not being very perfect on this. This is mainly a, you know, just showing you what's up. You can be uh, as perfectionist as you want to on your own. No one's going to judge you. Okay, that's good enough for me. And now, if you go over here on the whatever tab, object data, I believe, so you can see it's just a line right now. You can say full. Also, actually you won't see anything right now, so I'll change that back. Let's go to bevel. So you're going to start adding kind of, you know, a bevel, so, some, some, some kind of stuff there. I'm not sure. I'm lost with words. I'm terrible with words actually, so be nice. Uh, now we can make it full, so now it's just all the way, you know, around. And you can mess with it, because right now it's just a square. Um, I believe you can mess with the resolution or something like that, yeah, to make it nice and round. So if you were to make this into 12 or something like that, make it super round, let's just do uh, 6 for now. I like 6. 6 is good. And you could also do like front or back, depending on how you want it. I like it full because it's just, it makes it a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to turn, uh, and hit Z and just turn so I can see the image. And go back into tab mode and what you can do here now is um, shape it into the picture on where you want it to be as wide or not and um, so I got this um, this selector right there you're gonna mess with the radius and just say I don't know point 0.22 that's fine point 0.23 33 I mean there just mess with them 
I'm sure you could also uh, hit connected as well, but for this instance, I'm not going to get too into that. Personally, I like to mess with each one individually, but yeah, that's just me. And we are done almost. You could also, if you wanted like to close them without causing this, you know, like super drastic close you could you could also just close it like this and leave it like that where it kind of creates that little tail you could also just like extrude it a little bit wait wrong one control oh it's not doing it wonder why oh it is never mind there's a there's a there's a line right there I was just not in tab mode uh, you could say turn it back wide again and then just make this one super thin super thin go here and then make this one zero and then this one would be that way it's not like it's still consistent and you can try and uh, make it better that way so you know fix this one with nothing and there you go something like that So there's the first one. You can do the other one really quick. You can also subdivide. That's pretty nice. Go full bevel. I'd say bevel to the um, the highest width, and then come back and just do the radius. That way, you're only shrinking it to what you need. All right, now that we have those, this one's totally messed up, but it's fine. Not to, not, not a problem. Uh, you can come over here and where are you? Bevel factor. So let's click this one, the first one we made. Let's make it disappear, or at least go into the path you want, right? Disappear. Go to the first key. Hit. Uh, go to the uh, well. The start one does this as well. Or you can do end and just have it grow. Either one works really. So let's say uh, I'm going to use this one as an insert key, and then go to how many? I'm doing three, 30 frames per second. So let's do two seconds. So at 60, it'll be uh, at 100, and it'll grow to the full length. And you insert key, and now you see that it has nothing, and it starts just growing and ends. So that's always cool. And you can do the same thing with the other one. Make it end. Insert key, go to 60. Full. Insert key. And now they'll both grow at the same time. Or you can even offset them, which would be OK. Let's move it half a second and then it'll start later. It's also a nice effect. I believe that's it. I don't believe I have any modifiers on the other one. Yeah, no, I don't. So now on to a flat version of this. So this is the bevel, it's nice and round. You could also make sure that they don't um, intersect with each other by just moving it on the z-axis a little bit lower and then there you go and uh, it looks like this one's also just a four I didn't, we didn't make it round so you can turn the resolution up to about six and now it's nice and round and even give it a even give it a color say you wanted a vine green 
and then you just give it the same color. Boom, there you go. So nice and easy. Let's hit E there just to end it, and they, now we can loop. And there you go, now you, you got a nice little um, Bezier flourish. Uh, also, if you wanted to do a flatter version of this, it's a little bit trickier, but let me show you. So with the same thing, uh, I just moved up to uh, down to the um, the eleventh whatever page thing. I don't know layer. Uh, for this, let's say you put in a plane, shrink it down. Let's move to here. Let's make it see through with the Z. And rotate it a little bit. Click, click, or you can get the um, the edge of that, which is uh, better to look at. Actually, you hold down Control and just start clicking away. And you want to just trace it. I'd say the um, let me turn this off. It's getting in the way. The more you have, the better. And make sure it's consist consistent from one to the end. So just keep going with it. All right. I think for this one I'm going to do uh, connected. That way it's... Actually you can't. <laughs> Never mind. It starts, it starts moving everything. That's no good. I still haven't figured out. Uh, if you can... If you know how to move them... Make them all... Uh, size equally... Let me know. You know, if, they, if we can all just do it on the... Um, on the length of it. That'd be cool. So just uh, do that, make it look however you want, you know, with which is a little more tedious than the busier, I think. But unless you want the uh, flat appearance of it, I still haven't figured out how to do the um, I'm like render flat or make it look flatter. I know there is a uh, like a sketch. Kind of thing, right? Where you, you kind of looks flat, but it has a um, sketched out area on the on the sides, like a like a pencil kind of thing. Uh, but so maybe you don't want that. Okay, now that we have it lined up, we can do a modifier, which is a um, a build modifier. So it'll start from the first one and end to the last one, and it's uh. For this one, it's pretty slow because it goes up to a hundred right here. So it starts on one and ends at a length of one hundred. So I'm going to do that to sixty, and now you can see it's growing. I'm going to give this a color that way it's easier to see. And you can see it's growing alongside. Say if I were to make a new, like, say I extrude it from here, it would go all the way here and then do this one so it's very it it builds on whatever you did um, see so it does that it totally skips the one I just did there and then ends and then does the last thing so it's very organized in that and uh, I tried to there's there's a way to um, reorganize everything but it doesn't seem to work for me so no good Shoot. See dissolve edges. Nope. Delete edges. And it should be fine. And there we go. So there's that. But it doesn't look very smooth, so let's uh, go back to the modifiers and add a uh, subdivide. And now you can see it's a little bit uh, smoother here, so it's kind of like it's growing a little bit. You can see it's nice, nice and smooth there. Of course, you can make it smoother with uh, adding the view, and uh, also you kind of need to make sure the 
these are ordered correctly otherwise it's going to look a little weird so here if you have uh, the build underneath the sub subdivide it'll it won't work the subdivide basically won't work uh, like it should here so make sure it's a uh, build then subdivide and then it'll be nice and fluid that way and same goes for the other so I'll do that now All right, uh, I'll give this a color as well. Already got the green. I think I'm gonna move it because it, it might mess up in the render if they're on the same plane. So I'll move it down just on the y-axis. I'm gonna make it smooth because I like it smooth. There we go. And now build. So now you can see that the um, the build is kind of weird, wonky there, because uh, subdivide is on top of build. So you just move that down, and now nice, nice and smooth. And also this, the length on the build is always like preset to 100. So you got to change that to, uh, let's say 60. And let's let's move the uh, start to uh, 15. Let's have it start 15 frames before this one goes. So that's a nice thing where you don't have to really move it because on the um, Vizier, right, you have to move the uh, keyframes, but on the flat, you just have to mess with the modifiers with just numbers. Um, it's a little bit easier, but yeah. So there we go. They start growing, and then they end. And boom, you're done. That's the simple modifier. Now you can take away the, uh, the image. Where are you? You turn off the images and you can just see it there. Um, yep. So there you go, there's that. Um, you can also do a uh, you can also do mirror modifier, which is actually pretty nice. So let me show you that. So I had this one I was working on uh, just as like a test before I did the tour so I can get everything kind of in order. Um, and the way I did this was so let's start with this one. Well, I just started here, right in the center, made sure it was at zero, zero, and started going out, building it, just like uh, Vizier, and then, so let me turn this off. Uh, so right at, right at zero, zero, as you, as you can see, um, make sure that one starts there and then just grows out. Uh, really, you could do it any, any way, you could even start here and grow out, it all depends on the um, uh, the start and the end and uh, the way you you manipulate it and then you just turn on mirror modifier and there you go and it'll it'll grow let me show you over here how it how it does that so you have a um, uh, keyframe there and it grows out and ends and there you go and for this one it's the, basically the same thing I started here and just came back around and finished it off and just did the mirror modifier did the same thing on the other side and there we go so you don't have to do it you know all of it if you don't want to if uh, if you have those kind of things uh, for the flat version of this which is actually the busier looks a lot nicer too so you know it depends if you want the flat version or not now flat version you're pretty much doing the same thing you can do a mirror modifier as well as you can see here um, but then you're gonna have three uh, <laughs> modifiers. You're gonna have three modifiers. So just make sure it's uh, build, mirror, and then sub subdivide to make it nice and smooth. And uh, make sure you do the order correctly, where you're gonna start here and then end, or you know start here, depending on where you want it to um, start and end, because it's very finicky on that unless you want to do uh, reversed so there's always that you know you could do reversed well just have it already be there and then yeah never mind so you if you wanted to start here you're gonna have to start here and then end wherever you want it to end and uh that's just gonna have to be it so 
Uh, there's some other um, other flourishes like the. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. Nope. There are some other ones I was working on, so let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on that. I'll show you what I meant, what I mean by this. Um, let's see, I had the easy one here. I did a while back. Here's some with leaves. Actually, it looks pretty nice. I like it. So I can show you how to do the leaves. Um, I'm still kind of messing with the uh, the placement on the leaves, and then there we go. I need to be an orthographic, otherwise it looks kind of weird. So you can see how the uh, the leaves and the roots kind of grow out and then come back in. And right at the tips, you know, it kind of grows and comes back into to place. So that's uh, possibly another tutorial I'll try and do.